Yo what's going on guys Tanmaya for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial under game theory in operations research so in this video tutorial as the title of the name suggests we are going to be taking a look at algebraic method in game theory so we'll just go through a little bit of concept of algebraic method and then we'll solve a numerical so basically in algebraic method for any 2 cross 2 matrix that is the payoff matrix which does not have a saddle point we have a set of formulas based on certain algebraic calculations which we can use to find out the mixed strategy that player a and player b are going to be using so as you can see on the screen we have a 2 cross 2 game and we are considering that in this game we do not have a saddle point okay so you can see player a has strategies a1 and a2 player b has b1 and b2 and the cells inside the matrix are as follows a11 which means first row first column so that's why 11 a12 means first row and second column and so on and so forth so this is how the numbering goes so the optimal strategies are given by certain formulas and i would request that you note these formulas down because you have to buy at them and they have to be used as it is so the probability that a uses a1 is given by a22 minus a21 the whole divided by a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 now this seems like a little large formula but then you have no other way you just have to buy at it and you can use your own methodologies to just remember these numbers now the probability that a uses a2 would be 1 minus probability of a1 so obviously if the probability is 0.5 for a1 then a2 would be 1 minus 0.5 right because probability is always between 0 and 1 and since there are only two strategies obviously once you find one strategy the other one is going to be 1 minus that number right similarly we have the probability for b using b1 that is player b using his first b1 strategy it is given by a22 minus a12 so in the first formula we had a22 minus a21 here we have a22 minus a12 and i guess that's the only difference otherwise the denominator is the same so basically you just need to remember this numerator and then again probability of b using b2 is going to be 1 minus p of b1 so once you find out probability of b1 you can easily calculate probability of b2 by just doing 1 minus that probability and lastly obviously we also need to find out the value of game so again one more formula to remember so we have a11 star a22 the star means multiplication minus a12 star a21 the whole divided by a11 plus a22 minus a12 and a21 so note these formulas down in your notebook and let's see a numerical now so we've been given find the optimum strategies and values of the game for the given payoff matrix so here i have taken a 2 cross 2 matrix directly what happens is usually in question we have a larger matrix which might be 3 cross 3 3 cross 4 4 cross 4 and anything and then you will be using some dominance method or some other method to reduce that matrix so we've seen dominance method in the previous video if you have missed that you can check it out and then you come to a 2 cross 2 matrix and after which we cannot probably apply the dominance method onto it and then you use algebraic method or odds method so odds method we'll see in the next video also so right now we've just taken a direct 2 cross 2 matrix because we just want to focus on this algebraic method so using the first formula probability that a uses a1 directly applying the formula there is no extra work over here which simply just using this formula i have already named the cells just for reference in the numerical you won't be given this so a22 you can see is 6 so i'm going to write 6 minus a21 so a21 is 4 then we have whole divided by a11 which is 6 plus a22 which is again 6 minus a12 is 1 plus a21 is 4 so this is going to be 2 upon so 6 plus 6 is 12 minus this is 1 plus 4 is 5 so it's going to be 2 by 7 okay so this is our first value that is probability that a uses a1 so since this is a mixed strategy obviously we have to calculate probabilities of individual strategies for player a and player b we found out the first one now obviously a2 is going to be 1 minus 2 by 7 right so let's just first write that so probability that a uses a2 is 1 minus p of a1 so it's going to be 1 minus we just found out a1 that is 2 by 7 so i'm going to write 2 by 7 so this is going to be 5 by 7 i hope you know how to solve this so we've got the two probabilities of a1 and a2 now simply using the probability to calculate b1 and b2 using the same formulas so for b using b1 we have a22 so again a22 is 6 minus a12 so a12 is 1 over here the whole thing divided by a11 which is 6 plus a22 which is again 6 minus in brackets we have a12 so a12 is 1 plus a21 is 4 so the denominator is same for both the formulas 
only numerator changes so this will give you 5 upon 6 plus 6 is going to be 12 12 minus 5 is going to be 7 so it's going to be 7 over here so you got the probability for this one that is for b using b1 similarly probability that b uses b2 is going to be 1 minus 5 by 7 that's what we have in the formula over here so it's going to be 1 minus 5 by 7 which is going to be 2 by 7 okay so we've calculated all the individual probabilities for player a using a1 and a2 and then b1 and b2 and only one last thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the value of the game so the value of the game is given by this formula which is over here that's what i have repeated over here so this will be a11 which is 6 into a22 which is again 6 whole minus a12 so a12 is 1 into a21 so a21 is 4 the whole upon a11 plus a22 so a11 is 6 and a22 is 6 so 6 plus 6 minus a12 plus a21 so a12 is 1 plus a21 is 4 so the denominator here is also again same for all the formulas so this will be equal to 32 upon 7 so i hope you are able to calculate this value and then you have reached your final answer so just concluding the entire numerical with the final answer as follows so a uses mixed strategy which is given by 2 by 7 and 5 by 7 so a1 and a2 that's what we calculated 2 by 7 5 by 7 b uses mixed strategy 5 by 7 2 by 7 so this is b1 and b2 so that's what we calculated over here 5 by 7 and 2 by 7 and lastly value of the game is 32 by 7 okay so this was the algebraic method it was pretty easy to understand because we only have to directly apply the formulas so this is something that you have to buy hard and algebraic method is used for any 2 cross 2 game without a saddle point so make sure you remember this so whenever you do not get a saddle point for a 2 cross 2 matrix you use this algebraic method okay so that's it for this video guys in the next video we will see another method which can be applied on a 2 cross 2 game which is known as the odds method or oddment method and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that will be great if you can share it with your friends even better do subscribe on this channel and see you guys in the next video peace